It is my honest belief that if Brussels goes well, there is hope for the world. In a city that I always thought was handed over completely to the car, namely Brussels, that I, we do see the car being reduced, that the space given over to the car is being reduced. Now, it, it, we're not nearly where we should be, um, and it's a mess, this being, after all, Brussels. However, I never, I can honestly say that I never thought I would live to see the day when I would see streets being handed back to pedestrians, when I would see um, the beginnings of, of space given over to cyclists uh, and that kind of thing. I, I really honestly thought Brussels was, was done for. So it makes me very happy. I'm sure I'm not the only one who, uh, who was extremely heartened by the results of the elections in Brussels. Because everything that has been said about Flanders, how people, of course, are going to vote a certain way, because socially there's anxiety, etc., etc. Well, clearly, that kind of universal law does not obtain in Brussels. Because God knows people have problems here. People are anxious about their old age pensions. People are not entirely sure as to what diversity will bring. And yet, and yet, where has the extreme vote gone in Brussels? Nowhere. There are people living in cities who have few material worries. And, and I should probably start out by saying, as a disclaimer, that I'm probably one of them. But there are also people living in cities who, uh, who do have problems. Um, and yet somehow, they're more accepting. They, they seem to be more accepting of the fact that, well, the world is diverse and it's complex. It doesn't mean you have to like it, but it is what it is. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And, and being more accepting of the idea that where you live doesn't necessarily have to be all fitting snugly around you. It doesn't have to be home. If you wanted to stay home, then you should have stayed home. But where you live doesn't have to be home to still be enriching. And, and possibly the, the fact that it isn't home makes it more enriching. It just, I suppose it depends on what you want out of life. If you want to feel rooted at all times and your rootedness hinges on feeling connected to a place that you've known all your life, then probably you're going to be less accepting of that place changing. Whereas if, if you do live in a city, um, you might be more, well, you might be more comfortable with the fact that, well, or, or maybe not comfortable, but you might be more accepting of the fact that there's going to be some degree of change.